Gang of ghosts. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> 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 oh Do you know what? God. That's tight. <laughs> Let's take a break. <laughs> It's me, Glory, in the sun, drinking my cherry bee, and I'm with Arenma, and we're in our yards. This is the plot, and we're joined by Keep Vibes Near. How you feeling? How you feeling? Oh, that was quiet. We, we need some noise in here. Oh, we're with Keep Vibes Near! So, so you were working with Nike mm. to... Uh, yeah, released the little... third shirt for the Spurs. Yeah, yeah. I saw that and I was like, man, come mm, on. Man. I saw the comments. Girl. You were getting blazed in there. <laughs> they were hating on me. They thought I was a striker. It was jokes. Wait, are you actually so you're, you're actually a Tottenham fan? Always been or is it because you know, grew you, up you know with what? it? I used to. I grew up in Tottenham and like what part? Uh, like right around the corner from White Hart Lane. Like like literally like right around the corner. I was born in Enfield Hospital. Oh, nice. oh wow. Um, like my dad was a big Spurs fan, isn't it? Like he used to have like a season ticket and that, so he dragged me. But now I don't really rate football. Like football's a bit boring still. It is, isn't yeah, it? It's no, like eleven no, man, no, should I say no. twenty two man kicking not, a ball into this. a sack. That's we're, dead. We're not doing this, we're not doing this. Football's like, a surrogate religion. But I like basketball. Football's you know, a surrogate like, religion. I, 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 like from when I was like fifteen I used to play basketball bears, isn't it? Yeah. So from that time I just cut off football like basketball. Do you watch basketball from here or America? Uh, America, oh, I watch okay. like American basketball. Like, it's playoff times at the moment still. Oh yeah, I watched the, what was it, Lakers v Houston Rockets the yeah, other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lakers got to the conference finals. It. Yeah. So did the Celtics. I mean, it put me to sleep, but yeah, it was, it was oh. entertaining while it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's lit team, football's dead. So why did you wear it then? Because. Money. I really, no, <laughs> because my dad likes Spurs and I thought it'd be nice. They gave me a signed That's shirt true. with like, the whole team signatures. Oh. I'm gonna oh, frame sure. it, yeah. give it to my dad, like be like, cheese. And oh, that would be the best present yeah. ever. And he, obviously, he can go around to his friends and be like, look at my son, yeah. like, in Spurs. <laughs> like, Nigerian be parents love to Trust, flex my dad's kids, Nigerian, bro. so he's gonna he go around. He's in Nigeria now, like, he's yeah. got a house in Matama, yeah. in Abuja, and he like, works out there. So he's probably with all his friends, like, look at my song. Look at my song. <laughs> yeah, like, proud, like. Chilling with this fans. It's worth it, it's worth it. <laughs> 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 like, ah! That was a gun in, that's a look. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> gun in is like, chilling <laughs> with this fans. That's the difference, is dear. You just take it down a bit. Have you, you been take back? it down. To Nudge. Mm. Do you know what? I went like 2017, 2016, and I actually performed out there. It was jokes. They thought I was Skepta. Oh, <laughs> no. it was so joke. But did you tell them you wasn't though? And of course, of course. Like me well, and I would have run with I would have run with it. What? Free like, killer sheep. It was jokes. Free plantain. The whole <laughs> Like they was proper loving it as well. Like I just got up there and started spitting bars. Like, yeah. It was like, obviously <laughs> they love English people, innit? it? Like, but then it was lit, innit? <laughs> No, no. <laughs> what was your index no. thing? Your finger no. best if like that, bro. <laughs> What's your awesome. kit looking like? Keep vibes near FC. It would be like blue, like navy blue, mm. with like the baby blue collar, and the, and then like collar and the the sleeve oh, thing. I about this. And yeah. then like the, I haven't, I haven't, yeah, I haven't. You actually jumped out your chair, bro. The on the collar and the <laughs> light blue and that. The tick. You jumped out, it's bro. It's navy there, it's navy there, but light blue there, but the tick's white and that. And then, and then the Keep Vibes Near FC is that black contrast. And then the socks would be like the same sort of colorway still. Who's making the kit? Mm. Sondico. No, no, it's still not. Nike, did you not hear Sondico the can be the sponsor team. Yeah, yeah, true. Quick little sponsor, that would be memorable. Son People will sleep on Sondico, boy. Sondico, wavy. All right, so I got this, uh, I, got, I got a question for you. <laughs> it's <laughs> going to be tapped. It's not going to be tapped. I'm a, I'm a nice guy, I promise. I'm okay. But I come to the crib and I'm like, what are we eating? What are you cooking? Yeah. What are you cooking for us? You can't be hungry in your house. We're feeding yeah. you here. What am I That's not. I don't even know what I'm cooking. You'd have to just get takeaway. Takeaway. 
So if people come to your house for the first time and you're giving them takeaway. My girl would definitely cook him at home. Let's say your girl's gone to work, or right? You, or you, or She's you broke gone up to work. All right. I'd make like he a said, big right. batch. <laughs> He's <done. laughs> he said, all right. He's done. All right. Big batch of like fried rice. Okay. Yeah. With like all, all the bits, like mixed veg, mm -hmm. prawns, mm -hmm. like little bits of like chicken, you know, like the Nigerian thing, like calm. With like seasoned chicken, calm, a little bit of coleslaw. Everyone's, everyone's eating good. So why did you hide that? I think you had it. You had to pull it out. Yeah, can you actually shift that up? You can definitely shift that up. You done it before? Hundred percent. Got good feedback. You shift that up and like, yeah, people be like, all right, this is good food. People would be like, this is wavy, but I'm not like complex. Like compared to my girl, she cooks like mad thing. Why don't you ask her to teach you? She can. Yeah, she can. But it's it's complex. It's complex. You don't want to learn, do you? No, I'm down to learn. Yes, complex. It's complex. No, but I'll, I'll learn. I'm learning. So learning. wait, during so when you were at uni, so you weren't you weren't ordering takeout like that, or no? I was cooking quite a lot at uni. I I can't wait at uni. Really? Like, really? Yeah, Bro, yeah. Because I remember I was like doing quite a bit of modelling like while I was at uni, and they told me that uh, I needed to lose like an inch on my waist. An inch. Because mm. I was like, because that like, sample size is thirty two, mm. and I was like over that at the time. So they was like, oh, you need to lose weight. Did you start modeling in uni? Uh, I only did a bit. Like, I've seen you done like Astrid Anderson, done yeah, a couple yeah, magazines, yeah, like shoot. stuff like that. But I've never really like got into it too. Oh, tough. are we gonna see you on the runway again? Probably, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm focused on the music thing right now. If I'm being honest. But music and fashion go hand in hand, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. True. So that's that's kind of why I didn't bother too much trying to like run around castings and stuff. <laughs> Wait, what was the magazine you uh, did the shoot with the dog? Uh, dog magazine. Dog mag. Wow. <laughs> Can't wow. make this up. <laughs> <laughs> How's your meditation journey going? My meditation journey. Do you yeah. know what? I'm not still keeping up with it, but mm -hmm. something that I learned like while I was doing it is that like, like while I was. The reason I started doing that meditation challenge was like, it was like this abundance challenge. It was like this challenge of abundance and each challenge was pretty much finding like different levels of like appreciating your life. And that's pretty much what the gist of it was. And like it was different forms of medita meditation. So it encouraged you to like try like try other stuff. And I found that like, I was listening to like jazz instruments, like jazz instrument instrumentals and like stuff like that and just like singing yeah like and it actually helped me quite a bit like to find like some form of like calming because i don't sing like for fun much anymore like which is it sounds mad it's a bit sad i know it sounds mad because you're like, blessing us with the vocals but you're not blessing yourself when you're it, by yourself it, it sounds that way like obviously i still enjoy like recording songs and like mm. coming up with stuff but like in terms of like how I used to like just chill in my room and play guitar like yeah. while I'm just relaxing and just cooling. Like, I don't I don't do any of that stuff anymore. So doing things like that really like calm me and like the first time I done it I started crying. Wow. And it was a mad thing and I was like, why am I crying? Like, like but I remember I remember playing my guitar and singing and just feeling like overwhelmed. Like and it was like cool, like it was like refreshing as well, like because around that time I was in quite a like reflective state. So it was needed. It was yeah. definitely needed. But I think I think meditation's good. I think reflection is healthy. Yeah. Definitely. Because a lot of people think it's like crossing your legs and going on yeah. for bare time. But it it's is different just like finding peace everyone. within yeah. yourself, really. It's different for everyone. <laughs> I it's stretch. I do yoga and that slip. You stretch? Yeah. What's That's your really attire when bad. you do that, though? Huh? Mm. What's, your, what's your stretching attire? Oh, if I'm at home, it's boxes. Boxes. <laughs> on a nice mat. <laughs> You gotta be cozy, <laughs> but obviously if I'm out, it's shorts. It's, it's the it's the proper setup. I like that. Gotta let them know you can hit certain angles and stuff. Mm. Have you heard of the boys? No. What's that? Oh, it's basically. It's about something my boyfriend watched the other day. I've been watching it. It's basically a series about. If that happened to you, what would you do? 
I told you this guy is tapped. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Because I weren't even following the whole thing. <laughs> it's like, right, right, right. Because <laughs> it was long, isn't it? All right. Give me, the, thing, give me the quick re, re summary. So basically, <laughs> gang of girls. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Do you oh know what? God. That's <laughs> tight. Let's take a break. <laughs> so now that, now that you've I've, if I've I got, explained. If it, I got framed. Yeah, if you got framed like that. Like she literally morphs into a guy mid session, but you don't actually know. I just found it. Oh my gosh. You let her put it out? Yeah, fuck it. That's fair enough. I'm okay, innit? it? If, if that happened, I'd just be like, and what? No, but like. But you're lying about yourself. But they're trying to lie on me. No, but like. Mm. Look at the situation though, look at who he is. He's it's a politics. senator and that. Yeah, it's a not, it's a not gay senator. I don't know. I but don't he know. was, no, in the, in, the, in the series though, he was based in Oklahoma, which apparently... What would you do? I guess. What would I do? Mm. I wouldn't be a politician, so I don't think I can answer that. Nah, ah, uh, do you know senator. what? You're a bad man. Why? You can't block it? the improv. I just did. Let's say you wasn't a senator then, you're just you, right now. You've gone to do your thing. No, I'll put it out. You put it out? Yeah, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let it go out. Let it go out. Oh, I know there's a lot of people that wouldn't be comfortable out. with that. I'm what? There's a lot of people that wouldn't be comfortable with that. You lot are lying. I just thought I'd let you two know. You wouldn't put it out. I'd put it out. If they was going to put it out and I had to like do a mad thing to stop them from putting it out, I'd just let them put it out. But the fact that they're, everyone's going to see you how you are in that state. Yeah, lit. <laughs> Let's say it's not a good day in the office that day. It's lit. It's 2020. 2020. That has no... It's 2020. It's, that's, that's fine. That's not a crazy thing anymore. I'm talking about dead. Being dead. What? Everyone in, can see you dead. That's fine. You got, you got someone you like and they're going to see that video. They're like, do you know what? Never mind. If you can't accept me at my worst, you don't deserve me. At my best. <laughs> That's not nice. Because that. everyone deserves good, good, good intimacy. And everyone clicking. <laughs> you lot are bad. <laughs> you lot are bad. So you, you mentioned that you're sitting on quite um, a fair bit of music. So is there a project on the way? Or is it more singles? Yeah, there's, there's a project on the way. I've, got my, I've been working on my EP um, for like a while now. I've been working on... Like a lot of music as well, like collaboration and stuff like that. So there's a lot of stuff coming. Well, um, we're gonna we're gonna get you to sing a little something. Serenade, not sing. We're gonna get you to serenade for us today. <laughs> I know you, you've, you've been bonding a bit, so this is gonna be interesting. Yeah. First, we got Skull Duggery Pleasant up in the cut. You're gonna serenade a page of this book <laughs> to the people that I'm over here. I'm gonna serenade a page. And of you the at book. home? Yeah. Let me find a random page to give them. Where did you get the book? You know what? Yesterday night I was like, I was prepping for this and I was like, dude's a serenade, man. But I don't think I, I want to be, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be serenaded if it's like, like some serious shit. So if you just serenade something else, that's not your song, like an actual book. I just thought that'd be quite lit. And then I saw the book and I was like, yeah, it worked. So <laughs> yeah, page 181. <coughs> The serenade session commences. What did she see? She saw you die. Valkyrie stepped away from the basin. If you're going to ask me for a time and a place, sorry she was. Never specific, how do I die? In pain, he said, screaming. She ran her tongue over the new tooth and said nothing ghastly. Waved his wand <coughs> over the basin and she heard the water slosh about as it returned to its normal state. He lifted out the clouds, the black molds of her two feet, and put them on the table. She said there was an enemy you had to fight, a creature of darkness. She said skullduggery, 
fall by your side for some of it, but she sensed things more than saw them, you know. She felt terror and the futility. She felt the world on the edge of destruction and she sensed evil. Unimaginable evil. Jeez. That was a riot. Wait, this bitch got a wave. This is all. It's all. That was live. Jeez. You made a book with a demon on the back. Sound good. That's mad. That was have you ever serenaded someone before? Yeah. Outside their window? No. No boombox. Face to face? Yeah. No. I'd be like, do you know what? When I used to get, like, when I was at uni, like, girls would come to my house, yeah, and they'd see my guitar. Mm -hmm. And, like, do you know how people are like, oh, you play guitar? Like, and they'd usually be like, oh, like, play something on guitar. Like, I bet you're shit. <laughs> Who says it like that? <laughs> no, no, trust, trust. <laughs> Most people, like, hear you're a singer and they're like, oh, you're a singer, isn't it? Yeah. Like, they never expect you to be, like, decent, innit? So, like, most girls would come around, like, give me that, oh, like, play something on guitar, and I'd play something. And then, yeah. It's a rap from there. Yeah. Not a rap, but it usually not breaks rapping. the... Breaks the... The tension. <laughs> so, would you use that as a technique, then? Just leave the I guitar by the door? No, but if they, if they say something and they challenge, like, I'd be like... <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. No, that's lit. That's lit. I've run out of questions, I'm not gonna lie to you. I haven't done that in a long time anyway. I'm serious. <laughs> the yeah, accent is wavy, you know. Yeah, <laughs> got you were raised in Tottenham. Is this the North London accent then? No, no, no. I live in East now. Like I've lived in East for a while now as well. From what age? Like when I was like eleven. Like, so oh. you picked up an accent from the other side of Strong London Strong from 11? Yeah, like, like when I was like 11, 10. That can happen? I think so, apparently so. Do you know what, my brother doesn't have an accent, but I do, and my little sister does. So do you think you've just allowed the accent to take you with the wind? Definitely. When I was younger, I was definitely like quite impressionable. Like mm. that accent probably just like grew on me and I ran with it, like, and now it's just like stuck. I like my accent though. I couldn't imagine it sounded different. Mm. Yeah, your, accent, your accent's waving. Yeah, it suits you. Because some people they start talking and you're like, no, nope, close it up. It doesn't trans, suit trans. you. It doesn't suit you. That's mad. What does mm. a uh, keep vibes in your studio session look like? Uh, a lot of spliffs. A lot of me sat there in the corner, just smoking. Whilst my boy Harvey White is like on the keys on the laptop back to the keys back to the laptop and then hopefully by the time he's finished I've come up with something and usually I have and then is it just two of you in the studio or do you like having like uh, friends in the studio do you know what I kind of spent like the last year just like collaborating because I'm sitting on a lot of fucking music in it like, like I've got a lot of unreleased stuff that I'm like packaging to release like now for like the next year or so so fucking like, I've kind of spent like the last year just working with other people, like getting in the studio with other artists, kind of like getting ready to just like work in sessions with other people, like yeah. co writing, all of that malarkey. And it's been good, it's been cool. I work with like some sick people. Like, Anyone good. you can tell us or? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I've, I've been working with, a lot with my boy Harvey White, who's mm -hmm. a producer. He's also my keys player. So if you like follow my music or like, my performances and stuff like that, you would have seen him. Uh, Theodore Black? Yeah, yeah, I've got like a unreleased tune with Theodore Black and Danny Sanchez and Barney Dwyer. Like, I think that it's just sitting in Loud House Diaries archive somewhere waiting to get used. Uh, I've also got a track coming out of um, Silhouette Projects uh, with Youthful Wizardry, mm. um, Nick's Northwest. I've got a few tunes coming. I've got a song coming with Footsie. Um, oh, you're busy. Very busy. busy man. You're busy. 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 Uh, just like making stuff happen, keeping productive, trying to anyway. Even though. No, no. It's, it's sounding like you've accomplished that. Yeah. Would you get your voice box insured? My voice box insured? Yeah. I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure how much I'd get on the insurance policy in that. <laughs> no, you can you, you can secure a quote like a good a good deal. Yeah. Hopefully, if that's the thing, then I might. Because <laughs> <have to. laughs> that sounds wavy. Then. You what know, there package was, would you get though? I'd have. I smoke a lot of weed, so I'm not sure what package. Oh, it may go down to. because yeah, you smoke a lot of weed. Try to snake me. Yeah. They most definitely will still. But because you're young, they may plug you as well. Yeah, that's true. They might give me the benefit of the doubt, but yeah. really, him truly. <laughs> Do you see what happened to Lauren Hill? That's her voice. I no, want that to happen to what? my voice. What happened? Like, obviously, like, she smokes and like, she buns a lot, so over time, her voice just got like, more and more like. Uh, like husky, course, is that the word husky? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, I think it's coarse. Kinda, like, course, course. Or course. Course, yeah. Course. If that happens to my Wait, voice, course yeah, isn't yeah. that to, to describe hair? Just no, it's husky. It's husky. Course. Okay, it's husky. Damn. <laughs> I'm under pressure today. Course. So but you want your voice to get like that? If that happens, I wouldn't be disappointed. Well, you know, because you know there was a, there was a chick in uh, Slovenia that uh, she cut off her arm to try and claim a million euros yeah. in insurance and got jailed for it because yeah, they clocked that, that she cut it off. Bite. That sounds like a mad thing. No, but she cut it. She cut it off. Went to the hospital and was like, "Yeah, um, I was cutting down some trees." She didn't people that like burn down their like companies to like get insurance claims and shit. Mad. So but she she left her hand up in the. Um... Yeah, she left. The police <laughs> found the hand and took it to court, and they were like, "Like we found your hand, but you can sew it back on." <laughs> and then they threw her in jail for two years. But do you know why men are trash? Well, because um, I read the full article. And You're her like boyfriend and the boyfriend's dad, it sounded like it was their idea. But she has to be uh, on no, it enough to cut And she was the arm. bait. She was the bait. Because you think the boyfriend's cutting off his own hand? No. <laughs> no one's cutting off their own hand. But she she did it. because I think her boyfriend... That doesn't make men trust Because though. her boyfriend's history on the internet was, you know... He was searching it for her. Out. Exactly. It was his idea. No, he was helping. And the dad. She has one hand. Men She's not going to be trash. typing crazy. Men are trash. That's the moral of the story. Well, that was just them, man. Them men are trash. Yeah. Nah. Men are trash. Come on, man. Oh. I knew it was going to go there at some point. Damn. <laughs> what part of your body, though, would you cut off? If someone was like, listen, like I've got a finger. A finger. A finger? Which nah, one? No, nah, no, like it has to be like a chunky bit, like a hand. Like an elbow, I'll try, I'll elbow down. A man said chunky bit. I cut off my hand. Or like a young ankle or something. A young, right. That's all your stability, like, gone. So which one would you let go for a million? Which body part would you let go for a million? Chunky bit. Now, uh, arm. You let Full your arm, arm or the whole thing? They can, have, they can have an arm. I'd give away an arm before I'd give away, like, a leg. Would you want to be awake when they cut the arm off or asleep? I don't know. I don't know, like, if they give me the choice to be asleep, like, lit thing. <laughs> but if you cut off her ankle, like, let's say you said Where you wanted to cut off her... Like? No, genuine <laughs> question, because I just thought of it now. cutting off my limbs. If you, like, cut off an ankle and you wanted to buy crepes, yeah? Go on. How would that work? You'd just be buying crepe to wear one crepe. Yeah, you got Would you crepe. go footlock and be like, just bust me one because you can see my situation? Or you just have to pay full price. I would allow that. <laughs> if I was working at footlock, I would allow that. Someone comes in with no ankle, I'm like, all right, take one shoe, bro. There should Defo, be a section like, for that. Copperberg and the cherry B, just doing the mad thing. Yeah, or yeah, give them a copperberg in the package. <laughs> be like, listen, it'll number pay. <laughs> yeah. When you're cooling off, though, what do, you, what do you do? Like, what do you like to watch and stuff? I listen to a lot of, I watch a lot of Joe Bunham podcasts. Like, I watch yeah. it, like, religiously. What did you make of his um, Spotify deal? Yeah. The whole situation? Because, whoa. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I feel like the world's going in a weird way with streaming anyway, so he's kind of, like, like the pinnacle of it, really. Yeah. So, my opinion of it's torn. What do you guys think? He is... I understand why he's upset, but... Because he's Joe Budden you would have expected him to maybe step back and go, hang on, it's not adding up. Mm. Do you go in? Mm. If it was a new person who's relatively new to the podcasting world yeah. and then they're sharing the deal that they have and they're really upset about it, I'd be like, yeah, Spotify done them dirty. But the fact that Spotify, as he said like in the pod, they're quite new to the podcasting kind of industry, whatever. And they were even asking him how to do stuff. I thought he would have just come with more solid demands. Do you know, do you know what? I think he's just disappointed, isn't it? 
It's mm. like Joe Rogan's out here getting like <laughs> mad ting deals from yeah. Spotify. So yeah, but Joe Budden comes with a lot more than just a podcast. Like he is a cultural figure, mm. and he's always been one to like call out the establishments as well. So when you in that way, it may not even be like a new. It's not necessarily an un Joe Budden thing to do. You know what I mean? No. And I can see why he walks away because his value is actually crazy. Yeah. In terms of how involved he is in the culture. Mm. Like mm. everybody was watching Everyday Struggle at one point. Mm. So to come to that now, it does make perfect sense that he's walking away. Mm. You know. What does the keep vibes near lotion list look like? Lotion list. Yeah, man. It's the slow jams you're throwing in there when it's like when it's tofu night. It's just bare R and B. I listen do you know what I just really listen to music that I can smoke weed to in it. So yeah. a lot of the shit's that bare, like mellow, like slow, like, and I like, like my favourite singer ever is Jamie Foxx. Like I think he's the best singer ever. Jamie oh, Foxx. that was a strong statement, but he no, is talented. I, I think he's very vocally capable. He's not my favourite singer, but I think he's an, the best singer. Yeah. Like, like he can do bare stuff with his mouth, like, like sing like other people, sing like himself. Yeah. yeah. Like he go bare high, go bare low. Like he's, he's crazy. Great, boy. That's Have you oh, seen Ray? Sorry? Sorry, Scott, have you seen Ray? The movie? Yeah, 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 yeah I've seen that. Body hard time. film, hard film. I've got, a, I've got a playlist called Time for Bed. Oh. And I'm pretty sure that tune's on there. Uh, let's see, let's see what's in Can we talk about that, please? Let's see, let's see Can we talk there. about the title of that, Time for it Bed? Was just, it was just a quick thought, innit? It could be a lullaby, it could be lullabies in there, you never know. Oh, you gotta I keep think your mind Got a girl. Oh. No! It's wow. a lie, he turned it off. <laughs> oh, I love you, I love Do you know what? It's because I bumped the train, yeah? So obviously, when I went to the lady, I turned it off. And I was oh, like, yeah, oh, the, the my phone's out of battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And now I've turned it on. It's a bit too. But that's let's talk it. a bit. So, uh, so that's your that's your bumping no, 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 technique. No, because no. it sounded do. like you, you've done it before mad, there. Bro. Transport in London is crazy. It's too fucking yeah. expensive. No, I've never done that, man. It's <laughs> <laughs> bad. <laughs> Right, here's the playlist. Let's have a look. <laughs> Should we press shuffle? Yeah, here's shuffle. Let's see what comes up. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, I'm at lotion. Pit Miller is there. Okay. Okay. Thank yeah. you very That's much. Yeah. Oh, I'm at lotion. Oof. So your pace is quite oh, slow, I'm, isn't it? Yeah. I, I prefer like slower music just in general. Do you have fairy lights in your room? Mm-mm. What I've about got, LED lights? I've got like a dim like a lamp. Like a, a lamp. That's investment, isn't it? That's yeah, an investment. Like a warm little light, do you know what I mean? Ooh. You know what he's, so, yeah. he's so proud of the yeah, light. Yeah, he's proud of that. I've got a little lamp. <laughs> a lamp. <laughs> you bought that one, innit? Where'd you get it from? Amazon? I'm not even sure, like, I just caught one, probably from Tesco's or something, but it does the bit still. Mm. It's that black lamp, little, like... I'm sorry, wait, the lamp doesn't change colour? No, it's just that... Wait, so you're talking about a basic lamp? No, but it's a good light. Like. It's just a cool lamp. Let me be proud of his light, man. It's like one of those ones that you tap. Okay, that's wavy. Oh. And it comes on? Yeah, you tap it. On. Tap it. Oh, fair. You know what I want? I want them that's where you like clap and the shit goes out. Oh, yeah, that would be hard. I need one of them joints, boy. That would be hard still. What is your favourite song? My favourite song ever. Right now. That is the most impossible question. Right now. Right now. Well, right now, now I've been listening to Danny Sanchez, Dawa, Brasileiro, Banger. Big tune. I've been listening to that like daily. Daily. That's my cheat as well still. Making bangers. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's accent is too hard. Making bangers. Making bangers. <laughs> Making bangers. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna outro us. What did I say last time? Yes, it was you. Don't try to <laughs> sneak out of this one. Ah! It's like that. Just say something like. Well, that was keep vibes near. He serenaded us to some score Doug pleasant. <laughs> He's cutting off his arm. Soon come. Look out for that. <laughs> And yeah, just look out for the new music and more guests on this show. It was plot. I ran my glory. Magnum Sipper. <laughs> I hate that song when it first came out, you know.